What? Did you miss me? Just thinking to myself. Share with the class, why don't you? Alright, this story took place a few years ago. I went to no, no. Redacted with some friends during summer. It was my first time visiting so everything was new to me. We were chilling at an Airbnb on the beach boardwalk. It was me, Makima, Denji, and Power. I knew everyone pretty well, though Power I knew the least. Makima was friendly to anyone and often seemed to know everyone in the room. Denji was probably the closest with me since we both shared the same type of humor. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the Power was quiet, but seemed pretty mature. She had nice vibes. I'm thinking of ways to win the Nobel Prize. It was the afternoon on a sunny summer's day. It was sort of a free day in our little summer vacation, so we all split up. Makima left to go to a party, I was invited as well, but I'm an introvert so I needed to recharge my battery. Denji actually went to a concert or something, who cares? I was perfectly fine with chilling at the Airbnb until we all would meet up for dinner later. Power seemed to not have any plans either so she stayed as well. Let me paint the scene for you. I was chilling in my room playing a mobile game, today's video sponsor. Hey you, Glue here. Do you like League of Legends? Me neither. Do you like Knights and Wizards? What about cooperative gameplay? You should check out- Hello and welcome to Talking Bika. I'll be your hostess, Bika-chan. On this show we'll be taking calls from our valued customers, who bought and were totally satisfied with our merch. Here's our first caller. You're on the air caller. Please say what it is on your mind. Yeah, I bought the patent pending VCAT brand back scratcher, and I'd like to say it was a wonderful experience. Thanks for everything you do, VCAT Chan. Looking fabulous, by the way. Wow! What a glowing review! On to the next caller. You're on the air caller. Hey, uh, yeah, I bought one of them back scratches, and they were more like back bettas. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't scratch nothing with that thing, even if you tried. My cousin loves it, though. Uses it to stir his pasta. He even said it works out. Sorry, caller. It looks like we're out of time. Well, that's the end of our show. Thank you for stopping by. Until next time. That's for more info, Warlander. Back to the video. It's been maybe 30 minutes since Makima and Denji left. I see Power suddenly approach my room. She stands directly in front of me. Oh God. What's about to happen I'd thought. She simply had a careless face on and said, I need to go to the hospital. My heart sank. My blood started to rush in my head. I, I wasn't sure what to do. But I couldn't stop and think. Hospital? Now. I say. She just nodded while closing her eyes. Time seemed to slow down after that. My biggest concern was I knew very little of power so for all I knew she could be having some sort of seizure or something. An allergic reaction? No, but like I don't know anything. I think out loud, okay, so like you I have no idea where that is. Uh. Should we should I call an Uber to get us there then? She just nods. I then realize she may have trouble communicating. I want to note I don't see anything physically wrong with her, but I'm treating this seriously. I call for an Uber and we both step outside and wait. I try to ask questions of course, are you in pain? Do you need water? Can you walk? Not really getting any verbal responses, my mind rushes to, oh god, what if it's something with the brain? Uber comes through and we go inside. I explain to the driver to take us to a hospital and he starts the fare. Three, two, one, I'm driving. He mentioned there's an urgent care center nearby and my head began to bobble. I look to Power who's now completely silent for confirmation. She's locked and staring out the window. Sure, that works, I said. We did hit a detour of some sort. Retail on one of those. More than you can afford, pal. Ferrari. 
<laughs> I am I am not responsible. You are on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> Eddie, I trusted you. We jump out near a curb and I usher power inside. No one else seemed to be in the lobby so I immediately went to the front desk. Hi, my friend is not feeling well. Can someone take a look please? I mumbled, though 100% I was not that eloquent in my nervous state. The receptionist called someone who started to guide power to the back. I was handed insurance forms to fill out. Power threw me her entire purse as she was leaving. I took out her insurance card and began to fill it out. I really hope everything is okay. I thought, as I was trying to fill out the forms. Somehow I managed to fill out everything in my state and handed the clipboard back. A doctor came to the lobby with power behind what looked like some nurses. I was not ready for this. We can't treat her here. You have to go to a hospital. Oh oh. I whimper. What's wrong with her? I inquire. She took some gummy bears and is reacting to that. What? Gummy bears. What? This mofo took gummy bears at some point? Apparently. Then I remembered. There were shops all around the beach for gummy bears. Oh god. She must have bought some and. Okay, I'll take her to a hospital. Can you tell me which one we should go to? The wait for the Uber was deafening. I wasn't mad, but it was sorta like, damn girl. I thought you had a brain bleed or something. Not out of the woods yet, we made it to the emergency room. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm good. sorry. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing, what man? Are you you doing that, bro? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this part is sort of stressful on its own. There was a glass partition separating the nurse and, well, patients. What are you here for? The nurse asks. This nurse clearly was done with today, and it looked as if we were a bunch of tourists who did some stupid sh Which I guess we were. Why yes, my friend took some gummy bears. I can't hear you, she said. That's always something you never want to hear as someone with social anxiety. Okay, let's try again. My friend is sugar high and is freaking out. I felt hella embarrassed saying this in a semi-crowded emergency room with other people watching. Though Power was able to respond when asked questions. It seemed like we were interrogated for a while, standing mind you. We Do need, you see the dorsal fin on this dolphin? Of robots right here. <laughs> no, you don't. Where do you think the dorsal fin is? I, 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 see, I see what's going on here. Uh, uh, I'll check you in and I'll have a... Uh, I gotta get the emergency room, I'll be over here. Please take a seat. Yeah. <laughs> Until Power was able to get called back. I can't remember what I said to her, but it was probably something like, good luck, I'll be waiting here. I texted Makima and Denji to let them know what happened. I guess now knowing what was wrong with power, they played it off. 
Mokima said to keep her updated, and Denji honestly said something along the lines of, <laughs> I sat in that waiting room for two or three hours. What did I do? Mostly watch the office on my phone. Eventually, I saw Power walking out and went straight to me. She seemed to calm down, I suspect they just let her rest. I don't know for sure. You can, uh... mm. Mm. Be... <laughs> I guess they won't be needing that skin anymore, right? Alright, here we go. What are you gonna do with the Wait skin? <laughs> hey, gotta start buddy, buddy, study. Study. What? Don't like move. What? <laughs> <laughs> Power and I caught an Uber back and she forced me to tell her the price of those Uber rides. She was dead set on overpaying me back for those rides. I appreciated it, not necessary of course. In the end Power was fine, and I guess that can happen if you happen to take more than you bargained for in sweet. I don't know, I'm just glad it wasn't anything serious. I'm happy we can all laugh about it now.